thousands of people people strode jubilantly down Ocean Boulevard on Sunday morning, July 10th, and thousands more lined up to cheer them, carrying rainbow flags or clad in multi-hued attire, as Long Beach celebrated its 39th annual Pride Parade on Sunday morning, July 10th, after a two-year hiatus amid. Long Beach's Pride Parade and its accompanying festival, which began Friday with a teen event and continued through Saturday with music, a rainbow roller rink, community walls for guests to share their stories and much more, has long been among the largest Pride celebrations in the region. The theme this year was Many Voices, One Spirit. As a gay man, I feel like it's important to show my pride, said Rudy Crable, 32, from Santa Fe Springs. I feel like there's going to be a lot of energy down here, especially since it's been two years since we've been able to have a parade. The parade, the city's second largest event, trailing only the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach, was expected to draw as many as 80, oh, oh, oh people. And the streets were packed as the participants rolled or walked through the community on Sunday. The procession launched at the intersection of Ocean Boulevard and Lindero Avenue, then turned onto Alamitos Avenue. Jules Long Beach and Tanya Martin provided the official commentary for the event, introducing each foot headed down the street for the thousands lining the city's streets. Joining in on the commentary were Mallory Jenner Robinson, Roxy Dal Valle, and Corey Allen. The event has deep roots. The inaugural Pride Month in the U.S. was held in June 1970 to mark the one-year anniversary of the Stonewall Uprising in New York City. That seminal event in the fight for LGBTQ equality, which began at the Stonewall Inn, was largely led by drag queens, transgender and gender non-conforming folks, and was a response to over-policing of gay spaces. It sparked a city and national gay rights movement. Every year since, June has marked the celebration of LGBTQ Pride. Long Beach Pride kicked off 14 years later, in 1984. To do so, its co-founders, Bob Crow, Marilyn Barlow, and Judith Doyle, the latter of whom died earlier this year, had to overcome myriad obstacles. About 600 people marched in the first Long Beach Pride Parade, which lasted about 30 minutes, according to Q Voice News, an LGBTQ publication. 